Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still not getting free trips on super yachts and private jets. But I'm not on the Supreme Court, so if you want to hook me up, we can all be cool with it. U.S. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has been illegally accepting what many are calling bribes for over 20 years from Harlan Crow, a billionaire Republican donor in the form of regular use of his private planes and luxury holidays on his $10 million boat and trips to his secluded resorts. Wow. Clarence Thomas released a statement that's as laughable as Kid Rock's Bud Light shooting skills and as flimsy as Donald Trump claiming he can declassify documents just by standing over them. I, I'm more in favor of abolishing the department, the federal department of education and getting the federal government completely out of public schools. But we're not there right now and we do fund public schools. You dropped out of public school and now want the country to drop out of education altogether. Granny Bobo gets $175,000 base salary from taxpayers and she's using it to make the nation even dumber. It is pouring MAGA tears. I mock Clarence Thomas trying to defend decades of pampering from a Republican billionaire, get to know just who this far-right donor Harlan Crow really is. By popular demand, I have a hilarious new genuine page from Lauren Boebert's book, and more. I was really hoping Ron DeSantis would drop by Mar-a-Lago on the weekend because I had a little present since I totally lay brown eggs in what Eric calls Daddy's Easter Basket, not chocolate. This is really cool. Going all the way back to 2004, an LA Times article detailed the gifts he'd been receiving, including cigars from Rush Limbaugh, a set of tires, personal checks, and even a $19,000 Bible. A $19,000 Bible? Was it signed by Jesus? Come on. Harlan Crow is the chairman and former CEO of Crow Holdings, a real estate investment and development firm founded by his father, Trammell Crow, who was responsible for bringing the RNC to Dallas in 1984. Crow comes from old money and his political ties are so long Trump would like to wear one. And this billionaire is known for an art collection that includes Nazi memorabilia. Yes, he displays Nazi memorabilia in his home. He has paintings signed by Adolf Hitler and a signed copy of his book. Now, the right wing are doing everything they can to downplay what is an insane amount of five-star travel with this Nazi art collector. Crow has given millions to outside spending groups supporting the party's Senate candidates over the years, including Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, Nikki Haley, Mitt Romney, Lindsey Graham, Paul Ryan, and Mitch McConnell, just to name a few slime balls on the take. Early in my tenure at the court, I sought guidance from my colleagues and others in the judiciary and was advised that this sort of personal hospitality from close personal friends who did not have business before the court was not reportable. This was his level of research, just asking a fellow right-wing colleague if it was cool instead of actually looking at the laws. Something he's supposed to know a thing or two about. This is like being a new hire working the night shift at Burger King and checking with the stone 16-year-old on fries if the five-second rule is okay. So you just get the, you dust it off and then you wrap it up and... It, you know, we're not wasting food. For over 20 years, Thomas has joined Crow on his Bombardier Global 5000 jet for trips around the world, including multiple cruises on Crow's super yacht. Thomas has also accompanied Crow to Bohemian Grove, the exclusive California all-male retreat. Okay, his massive East Texas ranch, and spends a week each summer at Crow's 105-acre private camp Top Ridge Resort in the Adirondacks. Throughout his tenure, Clarence has presented himself as an everyman in a recent interview for a documentary about his life, which was partially financed by Harlan Crow. Thomas said, I don't have any problem with going to Europe, but I prefer the United States, and I prefer seeing the regular parts of the United States. I prefer the RV parks. I prefer the Walmart parking lots to the beaches and things like that. There's something normal to me about it. I come from regular stock, and I prefer that. I prefer being around that. And why do the right-wingers always love to mention Walmart? Handy claims to shop there. Trump says it's terrific. Have they ever been? I highly doubt it. It's not somewhere you go because you want to. It's somewhere you go because you have to. 
The only time Clarence Thomas would show up in a Walmart parking lot is if he had to drive Don Jr. there to meet his dealer. And Trump, what do you miss about him the most? Well, that's his honor. Uh, everything. Everything, everything. everything right? Yeah. Um, realness. Realness, yeah. Everything. Um, America loving. Straight talk. He loves yeah. Us. yeah. Realness. The only real thing about that spray tan dyed ferret pelt wearing con artist is the loaf in his pants that he needs to have Eric help get rid of. Justices are required to publicly report all gifts worth more than $415 defined as anything of value that isn't fully reimbursed. There are some exceptions, like if someone hosts a justice at their own property, free food and lodging don't have to be disclosed. See, that would exempt dinner at a friend's house. But spending weeks every year on a holiday in someone's resorts is a little different. It's like the gun control thing. When the Second Amendment came about, they weren't talking about giving everyone AR-15s Oprah style. And going to someone's house for dinner and then staying over on the weekend isn't supposed to be a bunch of multi-million dollar holidays. Any of these guys, why? Tell us why. And if you say, oh, it's too slow. Oh, it's not secure. Really? Right, well, then you know what? I won't want you being working for anyone. I wouldn't want you being my center for an assembly. I won't want you being working for anyone. I wouldn't want you being my center where you can't even bother to go out and do your due diligence. It's like Lindell did talk like a pirate day and then never stopped. Arr, matey, I won't want you being working. Get me a steak sandwich. Ethics experts said the law clearly requires disclosure for private jet flights and Thomas appears to have violated it and that yacht cruises, a form of transportation, also require disclosure. They're also saying that his stays at the Top Ridge Resort may have required disclosure too because Crow owns it not personally but through a company. Harlan's also given to groups that keep their donors secret. The recipients of this so-called dark money are unknown, and in a time statement, Crow said, I don't disclose what I'm not required to disclose. As the grift continues, Trump is now selling Trump sweets. To be fair, they should all just be orange, and there should be actual size printed across the front so his supporters can nibble on his fingers, toes, and toad. For all my regular viewers and those new to the show, thank you. I'm glad you found me. For several months, I've been reading a genuine page from Lauren Boebert's book. I do this once a week, and it's been pretty wild. In this section, we are at her place of work, about to search for an intentionally missing hamster. Let's get back to it. The way the annual event works is we all put bets on who will be the first to find my hamster Mountain Dew. And if I win, I'm taking that bundle of Benjamins to a Groupon dentist to get my lopsided yellow teeth fixed with super white veneers to put an end to what my sweet hubs calls my old corn cob face hole. Our designated releaser of the rodent is regular customer Mr. Fong. And you're probably thinking, oh, I get it. He was chosen because of the globalist Biden agenda trying to favor China. Well, you're wrong. My manager, Craig, drew numbers from a hat, and Mr. Fong won fair and rectangle. From there, we all have to put on blindfolds, and that's part of the fun and not up for negotiations. You want to participate? You don't just got to wear one, you got to bring one, and it's just one more way to add a bit of flair to the sport. My blindfold is made from one of the many Confederate flags in my collection, and it's not just for bedroom stuff on date night. You see... A little while back, I decided it was time for a bright new flag for the antenna on my Jeep, and instead of just wasting the faded weathered one, I decided to cut it into headgear for me and Jason with a Y. You know, I even cut out a little cape for Mountain Dew so he can let his rebel spirit fly. For now, all the players wear these blindfolds as bandanas, and we have fun checking out each other's creations, and Craig usually gives a bar tab and a lap dance for the best one. Having a look around, I'd say the guy with the plain white one is not going to win any prizes. We all started busting his chops for his lack of creativity, and then he had us look closer, and we were stunned. His bandana blindfold could unravel as a beautiful hood, and a closer look revealed the fabric was cut from cloth than none other than one of Patriot Mike Lindell's pillows. Sometimes less is more. Switch your bandanas to blindfold mode, announced Craig, and we slid them over our eyes, date night style. And DJ Johnny D pressed play, filling Lady Buns with Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. And Mr. Fong slipped away to secretly release my Confederate caped hamster in the dance place. It was like a fairy tale. 
If you've enjoyed this genuine page from Low Rent Booze Burp's latest book, let me know in the comments and I'll see about reading another sometime soon. Now this is just some epic on-camera cringe. What's your name? Brian, right Brian. side broadcasting. Right. Thank and he you. likes Trump so much he cut in line in front of 800 people. Did you? Oh, did I you? I walked oh. up with no courtesy to anybody else in line. I did not know I wrapped around the corner. I saw you guys oh. in the back. But you never moved when we informed you. No. Let's be a negotiator. So Trump, Trump's well, a negotiator. Nego okay, negotiator. But, but look, but look, <laughs> at all this, look at the senior citizens yeah. that he cut in front of. Mm. All about him. Right? Yeah. No, I, I'm Remember the show about. People's Court? Remember People's Court? Mm -hmm. Judge Wapner? Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. dun. All right, well, let's let's maybe give him a hall pass. Well, I bit. didn't knock him down. That's so right. Are we going to be all right? I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Yep. It's just Buy weird. him a beer when he gets inside. I thought the only line cutting at a Trump rally was backstage when Don Jr. and Guilfoyle are doing their pre-performance prep with their Ted Nugent CD case and rolled up bills. Bud Light lost a lot of customers. Woke equals broke. Mega tears. Bud Light is already hard to swallow. Adding the force-fed trans BS makes it unpalatable. Mega tears. FJB. Mega tears. Say what you want. In my town, Bud Light inventories and stores look untouched compared to other beers. They will not recover from this one. You can rig election machines, but you can't rig a vote that uses dollars. Mega tears. Another leftist meltdown again. Mega tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by joining us in the comments, sharing this video with a friend, and following me on social media. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. Please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs that go great with those mega tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, and I've toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years. I have three albums and a brand new EP from my opening set on Jim's latest Netflix special. You can stream these on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for helping me make this show possible. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.